Out of all the amazing archaeological discoveries made each and every day around the world, my favorites have got to be those that emerge from the depths of the ocean. I think there is something about the underwater world that captures our imagination. Perhaps it is the curiosity and intrigue about what else may lie beneath the surface, or the idea that entire cities may be hidden on the ocean floor, out of sight and out of reach. Fortunately, underwater discoveries are not always out of reach and every year, more incredible findings are made thanks to advancing technology in the field of marine archaeology. Here are 10 unbelievable underwater discoveries. Ancient Remains In November 2013, archaeologists announced the recovery of a treasure trove of artifacts off the coast of Sicily from the site of the first ancient naval battle ever discovered including battering rams, helmets, armor, and weapons dating back 2,000 years. They are the remnants of the Battle of the Igri Islands, the last clash from the First Punic War which took place in 241 BC, in which the Romans fought the Carthaginians in a battle that culminated from more than 20 years of warring, as the Romans struggled to gain a foothold in the Mediterranean Sea. While the Carthaginians were much more powerful on the water, the Romans lay in a wait, trapping the Carthaginians and blocking off their sea route in a sudden attack. Up to 50 Carthaginian ships were sunk, killing up to 10,000 men. The Roman victory set them on the road for Europe-wide domination. The priceless hoard of artifacts had lain undisturbed on the seabed, at a depth of 100 meters for more than two millennia. Before we move any further, like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you can watch our amazing content. Ancient Pills In June 2013, a team of Italian scientists conducted a chemical analysis on some ancient Roman medicinal pills discovered in the Relito del Pizzino, a 2,000-year-old submerged ship vessel which sank off the coast of Tuscany, revealing what exactly the ancient Romans used as medicine. The Roman shipwreck lay near the remains of the Etruscan city of Apollonia, which at the time the ship founded was a key port along sea trade routes between the west and the east across the Mediterranean Sea. The Relito del Pizzino was excavated by the archaeological superintendency of Tuscany throughout the 1980s and 90s, revealing a variety of fascinating cargo including lamps originating in Asia Minor, Syrian-Palestinian glass bowls, bronze jugs, ceramic vessels for carrying wine, and of particular interest, the remains of a medicine chest containing a surgery hook, a mortar, 136 wooden drug vials, and several cylindrical tin vessels, one of which contained five circular medicinal tablets. The tin vessels had remained completely sealed, which kept the pills dry, providing an amazing opportunity to find out exactly what substances were contained within them. The results revealed that the pills contain a number of zinc compounds as well as iron oxide, starch, beeswax, pine resin, and other plant-derived materials. Based on their shape and composition, scientists have suggested that the tablets were used as a type of eye medicine. Shipwreck In March 2014, French marine archaeologist and researcher announced the incredible discovery of a boat wreck in Zambratia Cove in Croatia, which was just dated 1200 BC. The unique and rare finding is a Bronze Age sewn boat, a type of wooden boat which is literally sewn together using ropes, roots, or willow branches. The boat measures 7 meters in length and 2.5 meters in width and is a sewn boat, which was a technique of shipbuilding practiced in the Adriatic until the Roman era. The remains of boat found in Zambaratia Cove are incredibly well preserved for its age, with the stitching still visible in some areas and the frame largely undamaged. The different types of wood used to construct it have been identified as elm, elder, and fir. The tree ring dating is currently underway, which will provide the day the tree was cut to the nearest year. Ms. Boito said that they hoped to finalize a 3D model of the boat and eventually a complete reconstruction. Elongated Skulls In January 2014, 
A flooded sinkhole in southern Mexico that terrifies local villagers was explored by underwater archaeologists, who found the submerged cavern littered with elongated skulls and human bones. The underwater cavern, known as Sauk Weum, is a cenote located in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. A cenote is a natural pit resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposes groundwater underneath. They were sometimes used by the ancient Maya for sacrificial offerings. Local legend says that the mysterious cavern is guarded by a feathered, horse-headed serpent. Older residents of the nearby village of Talca Coelho tell stories of people seeing the serpent perching in a tree, leaping up, spinning around three times, and diving into the water. From the first day of diving, archaeologists discovered that there may be a very real reason why the villagers fear the place. It appears something terrible took place there, and perhaps knowledge of this was passed down over the centuries leading to the development of myths and legends. The team identified more than a dozen human remains. The bones bear no marks that would indicate cause of death, so the people probably were not sacrificed. According to the researchers, the elongated skulls were intentionally flattened during infancy, a practice that archaeologists are still seeking answers for. Underwater relics Swedish divers made a unique and rare discovery in the Baltic Sea, Stone Age artifacts left by Swedish nomads dating back 11,000 years. Researchers uncovered a number of remnants that are believed to have been discarded in the water by Swedes in the Stone Age objects which have been preserved thanks to the lack of oxygen and the abundance of Yidja sediment, which is sediment rich in organic matter at the bottom of a eutrophic lake. It is extremely rare to find evidence from the Stone Age so unspoiled, but at 16 meters below the surface, the team uncovered wood, flint tools, animal horns, and ropes. Among the most notable items found include a harpoon carving made from an animal bone, and the bones of an ancient animal called aurochs, the ancestor of domestic cattle, the last of which died off in the early 1600s. Archaeologists are continuing the dig and are now particularly interested to see whether there is also an ancient burial site in the region. Ancient Ruins On the southern coast of Yunaguni, Japan, lie submerged ruins estimated to be around 10,000 years old. The origin of the site is hotly debated. Many experts argue that it is man-made, while more other scientists insist it was carved out by natural phenomena. The unique and awe-inspiring site was discovered in 1995 by a diver who strayed too far off the Okinawa shore and was dumbstruck when he stumbled upon the sunken arrangement of monolithic blocks, as if terraced into the side of a mountain. The site consists of a huge stone blocks, which fit together perfectly, right-angled joints, carvings, and what appears to be stairways, paved streets, crossroads, and plazas. Despite the unusual features displayed at Yunaguni, there remains some scientists, such as geologist Robert Schock of Boston University, who have studied the formation and who is adamant that the large blocks formed naturally as a result of tectonic movement. Underwater City In June 2013, Greek archaeologists announced an amazing finding, an ancient underwater city in the Gulf of Alicanas in Zakynthus, Greece. According to the Underwater Antiquities Department, the discovery included huge public buildings, cobblestone paving, bases for pillars, and other antiquities. Of particular significance were the 20 stone pillar bases all of which feature a 34cm diameter incision, which were probably meant for wooden columns. Preliminary observations led to the conclusion that the remains belonged to a large ancient public building, probably belonging to an important settlement in the ancient city's port. However, in a strange twist, a study released in December claimed that the artifacts are not remnants of an ancient city at all, but simply a unique natural phenomenon. Underwater City Number 2 The Lion City, otherwise known as Shi Chang, is an ancient submerged city that lies at the foot of Wuxi Mountain located beneath the spectacular Xingdao Lake in China. Officials have taken a renewed interest in the sunken city since discovering in February this year. 
that despite more than 50 years underwater, the entire city has been preserved completely intact, transforming it into a virtual time capsule. The Lion City was built during the Eastern Han Dynasty, from 25 to 280, and was once the center of politics and economics in the eastern province of Xizhang. But in 1959, the Chinese government decided a new hydroelectric power station was required, so it built a man-made lake, submerging Xichang under 40 meters of water. The Lion City lay undisturbed and forgotten for 53 years, until Xu Fang, a local official in charge of tourism, decided to see what remained of the city under the deep waters. He was amazed to discover that protected from wind, rain, and sun, the entire city complete with temples, memorial arches, paved roads, and houses was completely intact, including wooden beams and stairs. Heraklion the city of Heraklion, home of the temple where Cleopatra was inaugurated, plunged into the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Egypt nearly 1200 years ago. It was one of the most important trade centers in the region before it sank more than a millennium ago. For centuries, the city was believed to be a myth, much like the city of Atlantis is viewed today. But in 2001, an underwater archaeologist searching for French warships stumbled across the sunken city. After removing layers of sand and mud, divers uncovered the extraordinarily well-preserved city with many of its treasures still intact, including the main temple of amun gurb giant statues of pharaohs, hundreds of smaller statues of gods and goddesses, a sphinx, 64 ancient ships, 700 anchors, stone blocks with both Greek and ancient Egyptian inscriptions, dozens of sarcophagi, gold coins, and weights made of bronze and stone. The Greek historian Herodotus told us of a great temple that was built where the famous hero Heracles first set foot onto Egypt and was named after him. He also reported of Helen of Troy's visit to Heraklion with her lover Paris before the Trojan War. More than four centuries after Herodotus's visit to Egypt, the geographer Starbo observed that the city of Heraklion, which possessed the Temple of Heracles, is located straight to the east of Canopus at the mouth of the Canopic branch of the River Nile. However, until its discovery, Heraklion was just a place of legend. Sunken City in the Peloponnese's region of southern Greece, there is a small village called Pavlopetri, where a nearby ancient city dating back 5,000 years resides. However, this is not an ordinary archaeological site. The city can be found about 4 meters underwater and is believed to be the oldest known submerged city in the world. The city is incredibly well designed with roads, two-story houses with gardens, temples, a cemetery, and a complex water management system including channels and water pipes. In the center of the city was a square or plaza measuring about 40 by 20 meters, and most of the buildings have been found with up to 12 rooms inside. The design of this city surpasses the design of many cities today. The city is so old that it existed in the period that the famed ancient Greek epic poem Eliad was set in. Research in 2009 revealed that the site extends for about 9 acres and evidence shows that it had been inhabited prior to 2800 BC. Scientists estimate that the city was sunk in around 1000 BC due to earthquakes that shifted the land. However, despite this and even after 5000 years, the arrangement of the city is still clearly visible and at least 15 buildings have been found. The city's arrangement is so clear that the head of the archaeological team John Henderson of the University of Nottingham and his team have been able to create what they believe is an extremely accurate 3D reconstruction of the city. That's all for today guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for getting updates related to our latest videos.